Okay, let's say that you had a massive kick-ass live room. Would you ever consider recording vocals in it to achieve natural ambience? Oh, yeah. Uh, of course, this isn't exactly the same, but uh, Richie B, you got our you know, moderator on the site, long-term member, dude. He, he does like what I call real music, because all I do is just like metal and synth noise. He does like um, a lot more orchestras and choirs and things like that, and he had like, yeah, I don't know, I guess it's a choir, and it's that scary music, like in Lord of the Rings sound and choirs. Mm -hmm. See, that's all. I'm into that. I like that. Yeah, I, mean, I love the stuff. I don't know anything about it. I'm completely oblivious to it. Like, that's a good stuff, man. But they're doing like, all righty then, and all that business in some cathedral, and like, it was just incredible. So yeah, for that kind of stuff, for sure, amazing. You have to do it. But you put it in a pop song. Uh, well, you mean, so, like, I'm got, I got pink vocals, and the main chick's got to sound like a typical pink thing? Well, it's kind of a, in a creative way. Let's say there's only a specific section oh, yeah. in the song. Oh, well, yeah, no doubt about it. That, that, that's a tool of an immense power that would totally be used. Uh, I'd love to have the, the big live room. And uh, a lot of guys do track vocals in giant rooms, and but they're knocking the ambience down, too, uh, especially early reflections and stuff. So, um, I don't know. It would be amazing to have, but I'd definitely... Uh, Here's what, here's my real answer, is I know I would do it, and if it was too damn ambient and sounded like crap, well, we're back to the vocal booth or back to the control room or somewhere, I could control it. So, awesome. Yes.